Hi, my name is Brad Bigney. I serve as pastor in Kentucky, Cincinnati, and I will be with you for the Engage Men's Conference, and I'm looking forward to it. I hope to see you there. So I hope you're praying, and I hope you're considering going. If you're on the bubble, you're on the edge, yes, no, make it yes. I would love to be with you guys, and I've gotten excited the more I've heard about this group of churches, and I love to spend time with men, because I'm convinced that as the men go, so goes the home, as the men go, so goes the church, as the men go, so goes our culture. So I love spending time with men, young men and older men. So if you're teenagers, if you're young men, if you're single, if you're married, it's not just for a certain man. It's for men. I think God's word has a lot to say about men. And the main thing I wanna to talk to you about is the areas that I've struggled the most with in my own life. So I wanna make progress in living life the way God wants me to live as a man. And some of the things I've run into, I hope it'll relate to you, and I think it will, pride. It's a feeder sin. It's one of those sins that actually keeps me from being able to address the other sins in my life. So I wanna to talk to you about pride and share with you what I, what I understand and how to do battle with that for a lifetime. One of the other areas I wanna to talk to you about is I think too often we try to live the Christian life based on just a list of do's and don'ts. And that doesn't work very well. You lose heart. I wanna to talk to you about a passion for Christ and how that relates to your fight against sin and knowing Christ and loving Him and delighting in Him and having that be your motivation and fuel for saying no to sin and yes to something better. And then lastly, I hope to share with you a little bit about what I've learned and begun to understand about as I fight sin and want to grow and change, I got to fight it at a level that's below the surface with heart issues. Not just put off, put on, stop doing that, start doing this. Why do I do what I do? I want to try to help you understand a little better, and it was a breakthrough for me in my own life. Why do I do what I do? When I really want to change, where do I need to work and where do I want to focus? And that is related to Id idols, idolatry. And so I'm going to talk to you some because idolatry screws up every relationship, both your vertical relationship with God as well as your horizontal relationships with other people, whether it's your wife if you're married or best friends or roommates or coworkers. These are, thing, these are areas that all are impacted by our, our idolatry. So I want to touch on pride, talk about a passion for Christ, and talk about idolatry in the context of men who are striving to please God. I hope you'll be there. I'd love to see you there.